Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky on Saturday expressed his disappointment over the West's decision to adopt a $60 per barrel price cap on Russian oil. Now the world has finished, unfortunately, without serious decisions, the discussion on price caps, that is, on limiting the export price of Russian oil, because it is not a serious decision to set such a limit for Russian prices, which is quite comfortable for the budget of the terrorist state. Russia has already caused huge losses to all countries of the world by the deliberate destabilization of the energy market, and the world cannot decide on its real energy disarmament. This is a weak position and it is only a matter of time until stronger instruments will have to be used anyway. It is a pity that this time will be lost. The logic is obvious. If the price of Russian oil is limited to $60 instead of, for example, $30, which was discussed in particular by Poland and the Baltic states, the Russian budget will receive about $100 billion This money will go not only to the war and not only to further sponsorship by Russia of other terrorist regimes and organizations. This money will be used for further destabilizations of those countries that are now trying to avoid serious decisions. As Russian forces continue to shell the city of Kherson in the south of Ukraine, people struggle without electricity, water and heating. Kherson residents charge their phones in tents in the city, equipped with generators, starlings and heaters. Leaving Kherson, Russian troops damaged electric lines and heating stations in early November, leaving the whole region without electricity, water and heating. On Monday, Ukrainian authorities reported that part of the electrical infrastructure was repaired and people had light again. But the lines were broken twice because of shelling. A leading U.S. diplomat says Russian President Vladimir Putin knows the war in Ukraine could stop today if he wants. And that's where they do the... As President Putin knows best, this war could stop today if he chose to stop it and withdrew his forces. And then negotiations can, can begin. Hi guys. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs, Victoria Newland made the comments on Saturday as she visited a UN-backed humanitarian group in Kyiv that helps people who have been driven from their homes because of the war. What do you like? Uh, there are kids there from Kherson, there are kids there from Kharkiv, kids there from Donetsk, and they all know exactly where they're from and they know why they're here. And this is psychological support for them at an absolutely crucial time, and we're proud to support them. I love that. That's a perfect name. Okay. And now what happens? Oh, to make the head. Yeah. 